quite a serious question. Really? All right, Linda Breakstone, you heard what the mayor had to say. You're at City Hall. Come on in and uh, and give us uh, your two cents on this situation. Linda? Well, Harold, the mayor is, is, as you heard, he's really in his heart. He knows this has to be voluntary because he knows there are not enough LAPD officers to enforce this. What he's hoping, as he said, of course, is for people to go home a little earlier, and then that will leave other people who he feels may have uh, some mal intent and you know, some intention to do something, those people will then be on the streets and it will make it a little easier for the LAPD to spot them, isolate them, and do what they can do at that point. So it's, it seems from this side of it, the mayor was, was very candid with us saying that, you know, we cannot arrest everyone and people do have to get home. But so basically it is a voluntary thing. But at the same time, I think it's very serious because I think if you get it to a point of 9 or 10 o'clock, if you're driving home, of course, you're not going to be arrested. But if you're on the streets at 9 or 10, just kind of hanging out looking suspicious, I think, as the mayor said, suspicion will be caused, uh, called to you. Linda, you're at City Hall. Uh, do you get a sense that the people there are aware of the frustration of the people of Los Angeles? who have been watching this looting, watching this burning take place all afternoon, all morning, if you will, and into the afternoon, and uh, the lack of police response for the most part. Are they aware of that at City Hall, that people are they're angry and they're, and, they're, and they're obviously very concerned? They're very aware of it. Uh, they're very frustrated themselves because they can't do a thing about it, and they know it. They know that politicians have a bad name, not only nationwide, but in this city, and they know there's nothing they can really do. As you see this uh, unprecedented kind of situation where you have Mayor Tom Bradley uh, calling out to old-time enemies, Governor Wilson, President Bush, for help, one having quick, a news conference with Gates this morning. Linda, one quick question. We heard from uh, the mayor, and it's interesting and important to hear from the mayor, but uh, with the person who I'm dying to hear answers from, is somebody who was in charge with organizing the response, the, the uh, official presence on uh, the streets of the police and any other authority that we're going to be putting there, like the National Guard, like the CHP. How are they going to be running this? Are we going to hear a news conference from them? Well, you have a news conference with Governor Wilson Governor coming Wilson. up, I heard, and I think right. that and He's will sort of like Mayor Bradley. He's going to be giving us broader, that will... uh, more ambiguous kinds of um, positions on how they feel about it, but just a little bit more information about what somebody's going to be doing he to has put a, a force on the street. Yeah, Christine, he has a few aides. I was called earlier today saying, you know, talk to these people because there are apparently some people that are working out the tactical decisions on this. Now again, I'm in City Hall. Four yeah. floors down from here is the tactical division where LAPD does meet. It's a private place you can't get in, but they are sorting all that stuff out and they clearly do not want any of that information out. All right, right. Linda, thank no you. Details, uh, we've been watching uh, and listening. We've been watching a fire, a fresh fire, if you will, uh, dominating the screen. Art Rascone has been